We have quite a few stories about gift exchanging between heads of state. Harun al-Rashid, the most popular caliph in history, had famously gifted Charlemagne an elephant named Abu Abbas, along with a mechanical clock powered by water in 807. A year prior, in 806, al-Rashid was as per usual busy raiding the Byzantine lands. He sent out contingents of troops and detachments of cavalry to spread through the land. According to most sources that we have, he entered it with a force of 135,000 troops. And Heraklia, being the border city that it was, was once again sacked and reduced to shambles. Harun this time also made it a point to capture the local population as prisoners of war. At this point, Nikephoros knew the drill. There was only one way to have that pesky Harun off his back and only one way to put an early end to his summer vacation, and that was another heavy tribute payment. This time, however, Nikephoros sent a letter along with the payment, regarding a particular prisoner from among the captives of Heraclea, and it went as follows. To the servant of God, Harun al-Rashid, commander of the faithful, from Nikephoros, ruler of the Byzantines. Greetings. O king, I have a request to make of you which will not cause any damage either to your faith or to your temporal welfare, and which is a trifling and insignificant matter, that you grant my son one of the captive maidens of Heraclea, whom I had sought in marriage for him. Peace be upon you, and God's mercy and blessing. And apparently, Rashid considered it a reasonable request. He ordered the slave girl to be sought out, she was brought back, installed on a seat, and beautified. The girl and the tent in which they were installed were handed over to Nikephoros' envoys. The latter, in return, gave Rashid a load of Islamic dirhams on the back of a chestnut-colored horse amounting to 50,000 dirhams, 